So without reforms, why should voters have faith in the legitimacy of the next election? Well, voters should be eyes wide open and clear eyed, and this is what the president was getting at the other night, that people are trying to make it harder for them to vote. Wait a minute. I thought denying the legitimacy of an election was an attack on democracy. Oh, how stupid of me. It's different when they do it. We're just scratching the surface of the insanity in this segment. But first, give me just a minute to tell you about this special coin offer for my viewers. Now, something's not adding up, is it? Stocks are at record highs, but the government just borrowed $5 trillion. Inflation is transitory, but it just went up to 6.8%. How much did your wages go up? Gas? Electricity? So what can you do? You can play safe. Putting some of your assets into precious metals will keep your money away from the volatility of the markets and inflation and let you sleep at night. A precious metals IRA with Noble Gold will help you to avoid the worst of this. This month, Noble Gold is giving away a free 1 10th ounce solid gold American Eagle coin with any qualifying plan you start. So talk to an expert at Noble Gold and they'll run you through the options for keeping your money safe. No pressure, no hassle, no call centers. Just a chance to speak with someone who knows what they're talking about for once. Start by calling 877-646-5347 or visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com. Just make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. Hello and welcome back. If you've been watching this channel for a while, then you've heard what I'm about to say quite a bit, but I think it bears repeating, especially right now, since the Democrat state media's narrative is currently that unless they're constantly elected to power, then democracy will end. What is it that we've heard going back to the 2016 election that anybody who questions the election results before it happens is attacking democracy because you're lowering confidence in the system that's exactly what Hillary Clinton was saying during the 2016 election in response to Trump saying that the election would be unfair since the 2020 election that has been the Democrat state media narrative that Donald Trump is attacking democracy because he denied election results now just a really quick history lesson on denying election results in 2001 George Bush wins Democrats claim the election was stolen Bush is illegitimate, then black caucus members objected to the certification of the Florida votes, wanting instead to overturn the election results in favor of Gore. Democrats then riot at the inauguration. In 2004, Barbara Boxer, a Democrat, objected to the certification of Ohio's votes, wanting instead to overturn the election in favor of John Kerry. Then again, Democrats riot at the inauguration. Then in 2009, Barack Obama wins, a Democrat, and all is fine. There are no riots at the inauguration. In 2016, Trump wins, Democrats claim it was stolen and illegitimate, their media encourages electors to vote against Trump, then the Russian collusion hoax is born in an attempt to impeach Trump, remove him from office, and undoing the election results. It didn't take a psychic to see that if Democrats won in 2020, then they would give the election the all clear. And oh how right we were. Now for the past year, we've been told that if you don't accept election results, then you're essentially a domestic enemy that should be be treated as such by the government. They claim to do so as an attack on democracy and lowering confidence in the election system. Now things aren't looking so good for the Democrats in the 2022 midterms, so of course it's different when we do it. And so now we're watching a live narrative shift as the Democrat state media tries to convince people that it's different when Democrats do it because they're doing it for good reasons. So far we've had Biden, Kamala, Saki, and Clyburn who have all come out and outright said that the next election will not be legitimate. Unless, of course, Democrats win, and then another narrative shift will be needed. Jen, during his uh, marathon press conference, the president also suggested that the next election could be illegitimate if we don't pass voter protections. So without reforms, why should voters have faith in the legitimacy of the next election? That's hilarious. A marathon press conference, they say. Trump did a press conference nearly every day of his presidency for four years, while Biden is mostly running away from reporters. Then when he does a press conference, it's mostly just a bunch of deflection and yelling at reporters that they don't know how to read English because they accurately reported his words. Also, what the hell is voter protections? You'll notice that a couple years ago, Democrats started using this word protections and attaching it to all their policies. 
so that if you don't support their policies, then you must be against protecting people. It's just such a commie move. All this bill does is federalize elections, make their special COVID rules permanent, and give the president an appointed person who can actually overturn elections. And believe me, Democrats don't plan on ever losing again after this. So basically, Anna Navarro is a lying hack, in case you didn't already know that. This is part of the big plan. This is part of the big plan to control what happens in America. I believe what happens in America. If you take those voting rights away, people are going to be so angry. Next thing comes the women. We're going to take your rights away, just right. like we're taking X, Y, and Z, because there'll be nothing you can do. Seemingly, or many people in it seemingly want to be to manipulated. To do, oh. I was going to say to destroy it. You cannot be serious. Who are the ones that want to be manipulated here? In fact, the states that these people have the most problems with, like Texas and Georgia, have less restrictive voting rules than Democrat-run states like New York and Delaware, which is Biden's home state. Even a lone voice on CNN admitted this. Because he has thus far presented voting rights as a morally right or morally decrepit choice, that there's a right and there's a wrong. The side of right for the side of racism. That's what's being presented. Versus wrong simplistic view here is a problem. First of all, because more people voted than ever before in the last election. So to just broadly talk about voter suppression may miss that very crucial point. Here's what Biden said this week, criticizing Georgia's new law. Voting by mail is a safe and convenient way to get more people to vote. So they're making it harder for you to vote by mail. Okay, well, New York is one of the most reliably Democratic states in the United States, and New York requires people to request absentee ballots, just like the new Georgia law does. Now, Georgia allows anyone to request an absentee ballot. New York does not. And let's take a look at early voting. Georgia, the new law, uh, the law that's sort of Abraham Lincoln versus Jefferson Davis, allows for 17 days of early voting. New York only has nine. <laughs> I read a lot about what's going on in the world and, you know, mm -hmm. Hungary and Poland and mm -hmm. um, they're doing very badly with uh, free freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. They now have like, the, let's say the, the autocrat who's running gets like 90 percent of airtime. Yeah. The other one gets 10 percent. They are, you know, censoring journalists. Uh, that will happen here. Yeah, that will happen here. I think if the Republicans are back in power, the lack of self-awareness is real. She's worried about this happening if Republicans get power. Are you kidding me? Currently, the only people who trust the media in this country are Democrats because our media is Democrat state media that gives an unfair amount of negative attention to one side, the Republican side, and an outrageous amount of positive promotional coverage of the other side, the Democrat party. And also notice how she says that she's worried about this happening if Republicans get power. So of course, the only answer to that would be that Democrats should have have unending power. There is literally zero evidence that this will suppress anyone's vote. If you cannot get a free ID, an ID that every adult needs in their life, or you can't find a way to vote in three weeks, or you can't vote by mail, then I'm sorry, but you don't want to vote very badly. This is all just a bunch of blue and on conspiracy theory. Again, there is zero data showing any widespread voter suppression. Believe me, if there were, they would be showing you. I cannot reason with yeah. these people. They are shameless and they will destroy us. Well, we've had, I think it's true and it's on a cycle. I've been reading a, a book about sort of history repeating itself and they're saying yes. just that. They study the cycles of history. Can't remember the name off the, the top of my head. Just wait. All of y'all thinking this is not going to happen. It's happening. Because your vote is not going to count. That's it. Isn't it just crazy? hearing these people talk about how Republicans are going to steal the next election when for the last year all we've heard from these people is that if you do not accept the last election results then you're attacking democracy and are essentially a domestic enemy. It just goes to show what I've been saying over and over for 20 years. The left is particularly dangerous because they are capable of rationalizing anything. If you believe that you're saving democracy, saving the country, saving the earth, you can rationalize doing a lot of things to fight that threat. For your information, Dove and Pampers sponsored the View segment. I know it can be hard to shop elsewhere, but why would you give your money to companies actively looking to burn this country down? Find another company to do business with. All right, that's all I have for this one. Help feed the algorithm and support this channel by hitting the like button and leave a comment to let us know what you think. <laughs>